Now, there are many factors that shape personal bias, including unconscious bias, prejudice, discrimination, stereotypes, and ethnocentrism. And let's chat about these very briefly. Now, unconscious bias occurs when a person is not aware of the bias in his or her favorable or unfavorable assessments, actions, or decisions toward members of a specific group. Now, some companies are beginning to address the problem of unconscious or hidden bias. About 20% of large corporations now provide unconscious bias training, and that figure could swell to 50% within just a few years. Now, prejudice is the tendency to view people who are different as being deficit. Discrimination occurs when people act out their prejudicial attitudes toward other people who are targets of their prejudice. Although blatant discrimination is not as widespread as in the past, bias in the workplace often shows up in very subtle ways. Now, a stereotype is a rigid, exaggerated, irrational belief associated with a particular group of people. To be successful managing diversity, managers need to eliminate harmful stereotypes from their thinking, shedding any biases that negatively affect the workforce. Now, managers can learn to value differences, which means they recognize these cultural differences and see them as an appreciative attitude.